Lolita and cosplay. Why are we still having this conversation? A lot of Lolitas get asked questions like, who are you cosplaying? Who are you dressed up as? What's your costume for? And these questions can get a little bit irritating sometimes, but why does this happen? Well, first of all, what is Lolita and what is cosplay? Well, Lolita is a street fashion from Japan, which I've done a video explaining its history and all about how it came about and what classifies as Lolita and the items of clothing that you wear for it. So if you really want an in-depth look at that, then please go check out that video. Cosplay, on the other hand, is just simply that. It's dressing up as a character, wearing a costume. It's been around for years, but the term itself was actually coined in Japan. So this is where some of the misconception comes from because of course, Lolita comes from Japan, cosplay comes from Japan really, but it's very prevalent at conventions all over the world, especially anime conventions. Many conventions hold masquerades and other events specifically for cosplay. So why do people mix the two up? Well, there are actually quite a lot of valid reasons why people mix the two up. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. They both tend to be eye-catching and over-the-top compared to the clothes most people see every day. There are also lots of anime that feature characters who are inspired by Lolita or are actually wearing the fashion. In Western Lolita, wigs became quite a big thing and, of course, when you're dressing up as a character, you're most likely going to wear a wig. And so these wigs are partially why there is such a big misconception with Lolita and cosplay because of course the companies that make these Lolita wigs were also at the same time making the cosplay wigs and they were very much of a similar quality as wigs got better for cosplay, wigs got better for Lolita and of course many of the styles of wigs that the Lolitas wanted were similar to the styles that people who were cosplaying anime characters wanted so of course there was a huge crossover there. Although wigs have been phased out a lot in Lolita and now a lot of Western Lolitas just have their normal hair like I do. I don't tend to wear wigs at all because they do hurt my head and I do wear them for cosplay but I sort of try to avoid that and try to find cosplays where I can just have my natural hair if my wig starts to hurt so. Some of these wigs are designed for Lolita and others are designed for cosplay. Can you tell the difference though? So why do people still get the two mixed up? Well, it's partly because unlike other alternative fashions, where it's obvious like in everyday life to see that that person wears that fashion, Lolita is quite difficult to see if you're not actually wearing Lolita. And of course, a lot of people aren't lifestyle Lolitas, so this means it's very hard for the general public to see Lolita all the time. Unlike subcultures like goth and punk, which sort of exploded onto you know, the general public's you know, field of view, uh, Lolita didn't really do that. It's sort of been a slow and sort of gradual increase in popularity. And so it's not something that people notice. Also, goth and punk have strong links to music and clubbing scenes, which isn't the case with Lolita. And as well, if you decide not to wear a full cord and just incorporate a couple of Lolita pieces into your daily life, those get mixed up as being part of other subcultures. So you're either just going for a kawaii look, or if you're a gothic Lolita like me, it just ends up reading as you being more of a goth, unfortunately, than being a Lolita. And so that does have a big effect on how people view the fashion. Another thing that can add to the confusion are the themed dresses that brands have made. As the closer these are to the source material, the more people may think they are a costume. There are times that Lolita can be cosplay though. As I mentioned before, a lot of anime have characters in them where that wear Lolita. And so of course, then if you were cosplaying one of those characters that wear Lolita, then you would be cosplaying. The, the simple fact of it is that if you are yourself in your own clothes, then you're not cosplaying. If you're 
dressing up as a character whether that character wears normal clothes or lolita clothes or you have to make a whole massive sort of armored cosplay for it you're cosplaying and that's the way it works why do lolitas get offended well there's actually quite a lot of reasons why lolitas get offended partially it's because lolita is an expression of oneself so if somebody comes up to you and thinks you're trying to pretend to be something you're not you might get a bit upset about that because what you're actually being is your true self to the world and the world just goes oh you're dressed up as something and you're like no no this this is me the only thing i'm dressed up as is myself other reasons lolitas don't like people assuming it's a costume is because of the popularity of made outfits at conventions these tend to be cheap and poor quality which ties in with being seen as an eater Plus, with under 18s enjoying this fashion, there are people out there that try to tell others it is a fetish related costume and allowing the idea it is a costume to continue puts our younger community members at risk because of this. Also as well, Lolita costs a lot of money and a lot of Lolitas, you know, want to be respected. They don't want people to think that they're just playing and having fun. They are having fun, but they're having fun being themselves, wearing their clothes. And sometimes if you're just coming up to people and just like, why are you dressed like that? It's a little bit better than, oh, who are you pretending to be? Also, they get offended because sometimes it's just the time and place. If you're at a convention where there's like thousands of people in cosplay and there's just a small group of Lolitas, it's not so bad if you're sort of like, oh, what are you cosplaying? Because of course it's harder to distinguish the two when you've got like thousands of cosplayers around you and it's not a, an official elite thing but when you're out in public not people don't cosplay in you know out in general public unless there's some sort of event going on so saying to somebody who's just out in general public maybe shopping oh who are you dressed up as it does come across as a little bit odd because you wouldn't be dressed up to go as a character to go shopping you'd be in your normal clothes lastly I don't really think there's anything we can really do about this. I think people are always going to make the misconception between Lolita and cosplay just because of the link to conventions and the fact that it's a very over the top style of dress that people don't see all the time. Unless suddenly we all become lifestyle Lolitas tomorrow and the entire world sees us flooding the streets and knows us as a fashion, I, I don't really think people are going to understand that it's a fashion if they're not interested in it. If they're just somebody who sees something interesting, they're just gonna automatically assume, oh, it's a costume. They're not gonna assume it's a fashion, you know, unless they know. And the majority of people that do know don't say, what are you cosplaying as? They, they understand that it's a fashion. And it's just a case of slowly educating more people. But there will always be one or two that are just like, what are you cosplaying? <laughs> So, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative, just a quick little discussion about Lolita and cosplay and the issues around it. And as always, please like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching. Bye.